Hello, and welcome back to Top 10 Famous Channel. It's been 38 years since the debut of Supergirl in 1984, ushering in a new era of female superheroes. Despite receiving mixed reviews, Helen Slater's Supergirl successfully established the groundwork for the future development of strong female characters. So join us today as we take a look back to see how the cast is doing today. Faye Dunaway as Selena In 1984, the acting legend Faye Dunaway, star of Bonnie and Clyde and Mommy Dearest, came aboard to play evil witch Selena when she was 43 years old. Now, she's 81 and still working hard as an actress, but rarely gives interviews and makes very few public appearances. Brenda Vaccaro as Bianca Before playing Bianca at 45, the famous Broadway actress, Brenda Vaccaro had spent two decades in the movie industry. She is the proud owner of many prestigious awards, such as Golden Globe Award, Primetime Emmy Award, and Tony Award. Now, at the age of 83, she's still acting and currently plays Gloria Marquette in the Sex and the City reboot. And just like that. Peter Cook as Nigel Before Peter Cook came to Supergirl as Nigel when he was 47, he was the leading figure of the British satire boom of the 1960s. Also, he was associated with the anti-establishment comedic movement that emerged in the United Kingdom in the late 1950s. Unfortunately, he died in 1995 at the age of 59 from a gastrointestinal hemorrhage, a complication probably resulting from years of heavy drinking. Glory Annan as Midvale Protester The Canadian actress Glory Annan had 10 years working in the film industry, appearing in movies, television series, and theaters. Besides actress, Glory also worked as a commercial casting director in 1982. She was also a cartoonist, actress, and writer. Sadly, she passed away in 2017 at the age of 65. Matt Frewer as Eddie Matt Frewer, then 26, has been a new name in the movie industry when he played Eddie in Supergirl. Now he's 64 and has been accumulating a lot of roles throughout his acting career. Frewer's more recent performances include a portrayal of the character Carnage in the Netflix series Altered Carbon in 2018 and Logan in Fear the Walking Dead 2019. Also, he portrayed the Binder in three episodes of The Magicians and Peter Morton in eight episodes of The Order, 2019 to 2020. Sandra Dickinson as Pretty Young Lady Sandra Dickinson played a supporting role of Pretty Young Lady in Supergirl when she was 36 years old. Then, audiences often saw her in characters who fell into the trope of a dumb blonde with a high-pitched voice. Now at the age of 74, she regularly appears on TV series, playing some minor roles and voicing characters. The most recent one she has played is Dory in the 2022 film The Batman. David Healy as Mr. Danvers David Healy had already been an established actor with numerous TV and big screen credits through his career in three decades, before playing Mr. Danvers in Supergirl at 55. A year before Supergirl was on air, Healy received the Lawrence Olivier Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role in Guys and Dolls during the 1982 theater season. Sadly, Healy died following a heart operation in 1995 in London, England, age 66. Mark McClure as Jimmy Olsen The 27-year-old then-actor Mark McClure starred in the film as newspaper photographer Jimmy Olsen, in which he carved out a niche for himself in this iconic movie series. This is also the most well-known role in his acting career. Now, he's 65 and resides in California and of course, still works as an actor. Maureen Tiffy as Lucy Lane Maureen Tiffy had previously starred in Steven Spielberg's 1941, the hit drama fame before landing the role of Lucy Lane when she was 31. However, she quit acting in 1998 to focus on her family. Her last film appearances to date were in the 1997 film Men Seeking Women, 
than 20 years later in 2017's Hollywood Girl, the Peg Entwistle story. She's now 69 years old. Jennifer Landor as Muffy. The role of Muffy is one of Jennifer Landor's first roles when she started her acting career. She was then 26 years old. Now at the age of 64, Lander has no longer appeared on screen. She now resides in Atlanta with her husband and children. Simon Ward as jor L. Simon Ward had already best known for his works in 1970s, especially for his performance as Winston Churchill in the 1972 film Young Winston, before coming to the role of zor L at 43. However, due to his ill health, the actor died at the age of 70 on 20th of July 2012 in Taunton, Somerset. Mia Faro as Allura Inzi. Mia Faro had already established herself as a powerhouse before appearing in Supergirl as Allura. She was then 39. Now at the age of 77, Faro continues to act but mostly working as a UNICF Goodwill Ambassador to Africa. The actress has a total of 13 children, nine of whom were adopted. Peter O'Toole as Zoltar. Like his co-star Faye Dunaway, Peter O'Toole was a highly acclaimed actor when he took the role of Zoltar at the age of 52. In July 2012, the actor retired from acting owing to a recurrence of stomach cancer. He passed away on 14th of December 2013 at a hospital in London at the age of 71. Hart Boschner as Ethan Hart Boschner was chosen to play Supergirl's love interest when he was 28 years old. Now he is still active in movie industry as an actor, film director, and screenwriter. Besides, he's also a co-chairman of the Environmental Media Association. Helen Slater as Kara Zor-El slash Supergirl. At the age of 21, the little-known actress Helen Slater took the title role of Supergirl in the film of the same name. This has been also her best-known performance until now. She's now 58 and mainly working as a television actress and a singer-songwriter. And that's all for our video today. I hope you find this interesting. If you have any questions, recommendations, leave a comment in the section below. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.